Hello mga kawamat! So in this video, we will discuss about Rational Root Theorem. Rational Root Theorem given a polynomial P of C, A sub N, X raised to N plus A sub N minus 1, X raised to N minus 1 plus A sub 1, X plus A sub 0. The possible rational roots are of the form P over Q, where P is the set of all factors of A sub 0, and Q is the is the set of all factors of a sub n. So, for example, determine all the possible rational roots of x cubed minus 6x squared plus 3x plus 10. So, first, we need to identify our p and q. So, saan ba natin makikita yung value ng p? Sabi doon, P is the set of all factors of A sub 0. So, yung sa dulo, yung constant term natin. So, yung P natin is equal to 10. And then, yung Q natin, is, saan makikita yung Q? That is the set of all factors of A sub N. So, ito yon. So, yung coefficient natin dito. So, since ang coefficient ng X cube natin is 1, so, sige, mamaya kunin natin. Ano yung mga possible, no? Possible rational roots ng 10. So, pwede dyan yung 1. So, yung mga possible factors ng 10. Pwede rin yung negative 1. 2. Yeah, negative 2. Pwede rin. And 5. Negative 5. 10 and negative 10. So, ito yung mga set of all factors ng 10. Sa Q naman, and that is 1, so ano yung mga uh, possible o yung lahat ng factors ng 1? Dalawa lang naman yan. No? It's either 1 and negative 1. Ngayon, paano natin kunin? No? Paano natin kunin yung possible rational roots? Paano natin kunin? So, ang mga ito, isa-isa, divide natin dito. So, we're going to divide. So, if we're going to divide, 1, divide 1, so the answer is 1. And then, 1, ay ito next tayo, next tayo kay negative 1. Negative 1, divide 1, the answer is negative 1. 2, divide 1, the answer is 2. Negative 2, divide 1, that is negative 2. 5, divide 1, that is 5. Negative 5, divide 1, that is negative 5. And 10, divide 1, the answer is positive 10. Negative 10 divide 1, the answer is negative 10. So, ganun din sa negative 1. 1 divide negative 1, that is negative 1, and dyan na. Negative 1 divide negative 1, positive 1. So, kapag dinivide natin itong lahat na to, uh, lahat ng factors ng 10 kay negative 1, so kung ano yung nakuha natin kay 1, so yun din ang makuha nyo kay negative 1. So, ito na yung lahat. So, therefore... The list of P over Q possible rational roots are 1, negative 1, 2, negative 2, 5, negative 5, 10, and negative 10. So, ito yung mga possible rational roots nitong given natin. Another. Determine all the possible rational roots of 6x to the 6 power minus 3x minus 2. So, first, identify natin yung P natin. O, ano yung value ng P natin? That is our constant. That is negative 2. And then, identify natin yung lahat ng factors ng negative 2. So, of course, di mawawala yung 1 and negative 1. And, yung 2 and negative 2. So, ito yung mga factors ng negative 2. Next. So, yung value ng Q natin, yung coefficient natin dito sa leading term natin, and that is 6. So, ano yung mga factors? Lahat ng possible factors ng 6. So, 1, negative 1. So, lagi naman yan. Yeah, pwede rin natin yung 2 and negative 2 is factors of 6 then 3 also, no? 3, negative 3. What else? 6 and negative 6. So, paano natin kunin yung uh, 
possible rational roots ng 6x to the 6 power minus 3x minus 2. So, i-divide natin yung uh, lahat ng factors ni negative 2 dito sa factors ni 6. So, isa-isahin natin yan. So, 1 divide 1. So, the answer is 1. 1 divide negative 1. That is negative 1. 1 divide 2. That is 1 half. 1 divide negative 2. That is negative 1 half. 1 divide 3. That is 1 third. 1 divide negative 3. That is negative 1 third. And 1 divide 6. That is 1 six. And 1 divide negative 6. That is negative 1 six. And yung isa naman. So, kagaya kanina, so kung ano yung dinivide natin, okay, pag dinivide natin si negative 1 sa lahat ng factors ni 6, so kung ano yung nakuha mo kay positive 1, yun din ang makukuha mo. So, try natin sa first, uh, first and second. So, negative 1, divide 1, so negative 1. Negative 1, divide negative 1, that is positive 1. Negative 1, divide 2, that is negative 1 half. So, same lang. So, sa 2 na tayo. 2 divide 1, the answer is positive 2. Okay? 2 divide negative 1, that is negative 2. 2 divide 2, the answer is 1. So, ito na yun. Hindi, ko na, hindi na natin ilagay doon kasi may 1 na tayo dyan. 2 divide negative 2, that is negative 1. So, ganun din. Hindi na natin dito idugtong kasi nandito na si negative 1. 2 divide 3, so that is 2 third. 2 negative 2. Uh, divide negative 3, that is negative 2 thirds. And then, 2 divide 6. So, ang 2 divide 6, pwede natin i-lowest term yan. That is 1 third. Since si 1 third, nandito na, so hindi na natin ilagay. Ganun din sa 2 divide negative 6, that is negative 1 third. So, kapag dinivide natin si negative 2 sa lahat ng ito, yun din ang makukuha natin kagaya sa... Uh, uh, roots nung ito, yung sagot natin nung dinivide natin si 2 sa lahat ng factors ni 6. So, therefore, the possible rational roots na 6x to the 6 power minus 3x minus 2 are 1, negative 1, okay, negative 1, 1 half, negative 1 half, 1 third, negative 1 third, 1 six, negative 1 six, 2, Negative 2, 2 third, and negative 2 third. Solve x cubed minus 6x squared plus 3x plus 10 is equal to 0. Kung kanina sa previous slide natin, kinuha lang natin yung mga possible rational roots no? nung given natin. Ngayon, identify na natin kung uh, sa lahat ng possible roots na nun, sino ba yung part ng solutions. Okay? So, this is our example number 1. So, uh, given na. So, ito yung mga possible rational roots. Ang gagawin natin, so, yung first uh, na ituturo ko sa inyo, is substitute natin lahat ng ito, lahat ng iyan, uh, yung possible rational roots natin, dun sa given natin. Kapag ang nakuha natin ay nag-equal sa 0, so, once na nag-equal sa 0, pag sinabtitute na natin to lahat sa given, ibig sabihin, yan ay kasama o yan ay roots ng given natin. Again, kapag sinabtitute natin ito doon sa given natin na x cubed minus 6x squared plus 3x plus 10, and then kapag nag-equal sa 0, ibig sabihin, roots siya ng given natin. Okay, so let's start with 1. So, substitute natin si 1 dito sa given natin. So, 1 cubed minus 6 times the quantity of 1 squared plus 3 times 1 plus 10. So, kapag sinimplify natin yan, that is equal to 8. So, hindi siya 0. Therefore, si 1 ay the roots ng given natin. Next tayo kay negative 1. So, substitute natin si negative 1. Negative 1 cubed minus 6 times negative 1 squared plus 3 times negative 1 plus 10. So, that is equal to 0. Since nag-equal siya sa 0, ibig sabihin si negative 1 ay kasama sa roots ng given natin. So, isa siya sa mga roots. So, ilan ba yung makukuha nating roots dito? Okay? So, malalaman natin based sa 
degree natin. So, kung tatlo'y at in the third degree tayo, ibig sabihin tatlo yung makukuha nating roots. Okay, proceed tayo kay 2. Since isa pa lang yung nakuha natin, dapat may makuha tayong tatlo. So, proceed tayo kay 2. So, substitute 2. 2 cube minus 6 times 2 squared plus 3 times 2 plus 10. Then, that is equal to 0. So, since yung 2 natin nag-equal siya sa 0, ibig sabihin, 2 is a roots of the given. No? Kasama siya sa roots ng given natin. Another, negative 2. So, kapag sinabtitute natin si negative 2, that is equal to negative 28. Okay? So, pwede nyo naman yan uh, uh, i-compute, no? i-check. So, negative 2 cubed, that is negative 8. Negative 2 squared, that is 4. Times negative 6, so that is uh, negative 24. So, ang nakuha natin dito, negative 28 and negative 24. So, ano na yun? Negative 20, uh, this one. Oh, no, this is negative 8 rather. And this is negative 24. Then, plus negative 6 plus 10, so that is negative 28. So, kailangan pa natin ng isa na mag-equal sa zero para makuha natin yung roots. So, kap tapos na tayo sa apat na ito, eh, proceed tayo kay 5. So, substitute natin si 5. 5 cubed minus 6 times 5 squared plus 3 times 5 plus 10. That is zero. O ngayon, nakuha na natin yung tatlong zero. So, therefore, the roots of x cubed minus 6x squared plus 3x plus 10 is equal to 0R. X is equal to negative 1. Ito yun. So, dito tayo nag-0. Positive 2. Ayan, 0 din nakuha natin. Ibig sabihin, kasama siya sa roots. And 5. Okay. There's another way. Paano kas... Ito class ay madali lang. So, you can use calculator siguro dito para ma-check agad natin yung sagot natin. Paano kasi kapag meron kang more than 10 possible rational roots? So, kapag inisa-isa mo yon it takes time no para ma-identify natin yung roots. So, there's another way. So, tingnan nyo kung uh, saan kayo mas madali uh, no? isolve. There's another way using the uh, synthetic division. Since kapag nakakuha na tayo ng isang zero, so nak Ibig sabihin, kasama na siya, roots na siya. So, kapag nakakuha na tayo ng isa, gamitin natin yung synthetic division natin. So, that is negative 1. So, gamit yung synthetic division natin, so, apply the step. So, bring down 1. So, 1 times negative 1, that is negative 1. Negative 6 plus negative 1, that is negative 7. Negative 7 times negative 1, that is positive 7. 3 plus 7, that is 10. 10 times negative 1, that is negative 10. And that is 0. So, yung remaining na ito, di ba, ito yung magiging quotient natin. So, therefore, it will become x squared minus 7x plus 10. So, kung nakuha na natin ng negative 1 ay kasama sa roots, so, paano natin kunin yung iba? So, ito yun. So, pwede natin gamitan ng factoring yan. So, ano magiging factor nito? That will be x minus 5 times x minus 2 equals 0. So, equate lang natin yung dalawa sa 0. x minus 5 is equal to 0. Your x is equal to 5. x minus 2 is equal to 0. x is equal to 2. So, same lang, no? So, negative 1. So, ito yung isang another way para makuha natin yung uh, roots ng given polynomials natin. So, parehas lang. So, nakuha natin negative 1. The other roots is 5 and 2. Kagaya lang din dito. This is another way. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.